Good morning, hello. Hello, I think we are live. Oh, I got my own drop down notification there. So I think we're live. Good morning, hello, welcome, hi. First of all, I apologize about the light. It's a little bit crazy, but it's what we're working with. So I am at home today, I'm not in the studio because I don't risk it with the Wi-Fi because it was a bit blurry last time, so yes. So good morning, welcome, hello. I think I'm the second one on Yorkshire Yarn Fest, so all oh, people are joining, so I'm obviously live. Hello, I'm Tracy, I am Thimble and Threadmake. Um, I am a project back maker. Um, I predominantly work with Canvas, and I've just, good morning, hello, I've just launched a clothing line. So my lighting is a little bit um, ridiculous, but you know, that's where we're at. So yeah, this is um, a new design for Yorkshire Yarn Fest. So I am based in Nottinghamshire in England in the UK. Um, I've got a script, so I do apologise if I keep looking down. Um, but yeah, that's who I am. So I normally am in my studio. Um, it's in the middle of nowhere, so I have to rely on 4G and it's not great. So I thought I'm going to come home, do it from home today um, so we can use the Wi-Fi. It's a proper out in the sticks, surrounded by farmers fields, which is, uh, which is really lovely. So, um, you can find me at www.thimbleandthreadmake.com. So that's who I am. And if you use the code Yorkshire Yarn Fest, all one word, you will get 10% off all orders over £35. So, that's that. So, I've got some really lovely things to show you. So, I have been making up um, some items especially for the show. I've just realised I've not got my little... Little pumpkin lights on because the theme of the show is pumpkins, so I've got to have some pumpkins. I have got some water, so excuse me if I just keep having a little sip. So, right, where to start? So, as I said, the theme of this week's uh, this time's show is pumpkins. So, I've designed a new sweatshirt, I'm just going to bring you over a little bit, um, with this beautiful pumpkin autumn design on. So that is really lovely. These um, sweatshirts are so nice. They're a heavy blend. They're a cotton polyester mix um, and they're fleecy lined inside. Can you see? So these are so warm and cozy. So I am wearing a small um, and I would say that a small is an eight to a 10. If you look on the website, I've listed um, a clothing information page so that you can see the, the sizes and the measurements um but yeah i'm in a small i think that is an eight to a ten um it's a little bit on the smaller size for me but i quite like it um i would perhaps wear a medium normally for a little bit more comfort um i would say i'm between a uk 10 and a 12. so that's the the top that we've got going on for yorkshire on first um and then i've designed now this is a brand new product so this is a cute little box bag. I was going to call it the cube, but I already have a cube bag, um, which is something I came out with years ago. Um, so we've gone for a box, and this is just so cute and lovely. I just think it's so sweet. So it's just a perfect little box. Um, these are much more, um, more of an affordable range because I don't have to line them, um, and they've not got all the bits inside like the trug has. I'll show you the trug in a second. So, um, yeah, these are sort of a, a more affordable range. So I think that's really lovely. But I've put these beautiful prints on and that's all hand printed, um, hand applied in my studio. So super cute little pumpkin. And these are huge inside. So this is 100 grams. And I mean, look, it just disappears. So they would be perfect, I think. Just pop it next year, having it on the couch, working from it. Yeah, carrying it around. So. That's a brand new design and that is the one that's especially for Yorkshire Yarn Fest. Now I've just mentioned the trug briefly, so I'll talk about the trug. Now um, this is always super super popular, so this is made with really high quality canvas. This one is printed but I also do them, oh thank you, that's kind. Um, I will keep dropping in, in, into the comments, so if you do have any questions or anything please um, please do pop them in. I'll just have a quick look to check everything's going through. No, we're all fine. Um, yeah, pop any questions or anything you've got. So um, I do them in a plain and this is the printed version. Um, as you can see, it's got various pockets along the front. So it's super handy for just 
popping in your scissors, um, scissors fit in that one beautifully, um, anything that you're going to need to just be able to grab. And then on the back, it's a large pocket, so you can fit in a folded sheet of A4 in this size. Um, so that's great for pop popping your patterns in. And then inside, we have another large pocket. Have a tiny little pocket down here, which the idea, and this one is printed with a little door mouse, which I just think is so cute. The idea of the pocket down here is you slip your needles into it. So as you work in, of course I don't have some needles handy, you can um, just pop in the tips of your needles and that just keeps everything secure in there. And then this here is a yarn holder. So it fits two cakes of yarn, really handily. So it keeps everything really nice and together. And if you don't want it, it just folds away. So that is the trug. So as I say, these come in plain and this is a specially printed one for Yorkshire Yarn Fest. So I have updated the shop and everything is in there at the moment. And again, um, these are all qualifying for the 10% off if you use the code. <clears throat> no, I don't have any um, drawstrings. I am going to be releasing a line of drawstrings, but that'll be more sort of November time that they'll come out. Um, yeah. I will show you a bag that I have got for using out and about though. So yeah, that's that's for that. So that's great for popping at home and it comes with a leather handle that drops out the way, but you can also have the leather swatch canvas if you would prefer. Um, this is a Halloween way. I've only got this print left in the Halloween. So that's a trug. So that was a Halloween kit and I just did some trugs as well. So that's it in a green, um, but I've only got this print left for Halloween. Halloween's pretty much sold out. Um, <clears throat> so we've got a couple more jumpers, some tops on display up there, just so you can have a little look. So I have got two more. This is the plain box bag. So this is really just a beautiful, lovely little plain bag that you can pop everything in. So I really love that. I think that's just so handy to just have next to you while you're working at home. And then these ones, oh, this print, I just love this print. I just think that is so cute. Um, and these come with pockets around the outside. So you've got your pockets, you can pop your bits and pieces in there and you've still got tons of room inside. So I've got two of those. I've got the pumpkin and the, I think, hoogie, hey, hoogie, hoogie. I don't know how you say it. That's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? So I'll quickly show you this. Now I've mentioned this so many times, but this is a bag I designed quite a few years ago now, uh, and this is the Knitter's Carry All Backpack. So this is a, a rucksack style bag. Um, as I say, this has been around for quite a long time. It's always super popular. It comes in various colours, um, made from canvas, but inside's where all the good stuff happens. So it's got a, a PVC pocket, which is hard to show you because it is clear. PVC pocket. It's got a zipped notions pouch here. So you've got free space at the back and you've also got a zip notions pouch and then you've got a little flap here that you open and you can have as a built-in project bag it's really difficult to show you on the live if you look on the website there's um, a full video where i've filled it and you can see it um yeah you can see all that on there again this comes without the leather handle it's got a, a clip holder inside but it's also got an opening in the lining now this is something i came up with a few years ago so that you can pop your pin badges on and the backings are well away from your project. So that's the Knitter's carry all backpack. I have um, started doing some more different things. So this is a tote bag that I've just introduced. And it will be back to front on this, I'm aware, but it does say yarn hoarder and proud because that's all I seem to do. I seem to buy yarn and hoard it. I don't really seem to knit an awful lot with it so yeah but this is really lovely this isn't a bag that i have made and um, this is a bag i've bought in and it's got lovely leather handles um oh oh that's so good i'm so glad you like your rucksack thank you i know i called it the knitter's carry all and then after i thought you know what i've kind of um uh not been very inclusive there to the the uh, crocheters and all the other uh, crafters that are out there so yeah, that is something else that I recently launched. Um, 
jumpers. Um, these come with a range of uh, slogans and things on. So this one. Oh, thank you. Yeah, exactly. That's it. The boxes and the baskets, they're just great to have and carry around the house. You know, if you go and say a knit night, you can easily just pop this in your car. You can sit and work out of it. It's going to keep everything in there. It's just a really, really lovely, handy size. And as I say, because it's not so labour intensive for me, popping all the pockets and things in, it is a more of affordable line that I have introduced. So yeah, I've got various um, jumpers and things. Now, embarrassingly, this is mine and I have worn this so much. So you may see the occasional Charlie hair on it because, you know, I live with a dog. Um, but this is my own. So um, I absolutely love this and I wear this. And I've got a beautiful sand hoodie as well, which I wear an awful lot. But that is actually being washed at the moment, so I can't show you that. So that's the T-shirts. Um, I've got a couple of ready-to-make baskets. I've really not got that many of these because they are, they, as soon as I put them in the shop, they do sell out. No, you have to wait. Um, Charlie is just crying and demanding my attention now. So yeah, I've got a couple of these baskets in. And again, um, I have two of these, I think, um, and I have reduced them. So they're on quite a good buy at the moment. So yeah, I think that's it. Normally, I'm like rushing through and I'm a bit panicked, but I feel like I've done okay there today. I've got everything in that I needed to show you. Charlie. So of course now my dog is crying for attention, but I think the live's nearly finished anyway. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, any questions, pop them in. I will be adding this as an, in, um, an Instagram TV. So if you've just joined, don't worry, you can catch up later and um, watch along. So as I say, can we have a link to the store again? Absolutely. So I am Thimble and Threadmake, and you can find me at thimbleandthreadmake.com. Um, so that's who I am. And if you enter the code at Yorkshire Yarn Fest, you will get 10% off um, all orders over £35. That's my alarm to tell me that I need to start wrapping it up. I think this is the thing, you can go come on live and just ramble on for ages. So, um, yeah, but that's who I am. So, yeah, it's been really lovely to chat to you. Um, and thank you so much to Sophie for organising this. I know it's always a huge amount of work for Sophie. And I hope all the other vendors have a great day. So, any questions or anything, I will be around all day on email um, and also on DMs if anybody needs to pop anything across. Um, I will be around to answer anything. Um, but yeah, I think I've covered everything. I have a couple of these left in the shop. Um, not too many at the moment now. Um, but this is something I designed for Halloween. I just think that is so cute. Absolutely cute. So um, this does come on a trug. And um, oh, thank you so much for your lovely comments. That's so kind. Thank you. Um, this comes on a truck and it also comes on a t-shirt and a hoodie. I just think that's so cute. I just absolutely love that. So he's a little pumpkin with the yarn and he's got his crochet hook and his knitting needles. So yeah, I just think that's really great. Oh, thank you. Oh, do you know what? You know when people ask and say, that's going on my birthday list or that's going on my Christmas list. It's always such a lovely feeling that you would, um, you know, consider having one as a gift. It's just really, really lovely. So I do appreciate that, thank you. Um, so I think I have shown everything to you. So as I say, you can find me as Thimble and Threadmake, um, www.thimbleandthreadmake.com. Um, any questions, anything, just pop them over to me. If you need help with clothing sizes or anything like that, um, I will be around all day. I'll just give you another quick brief view of the jumper. As I say, I apologize about the lighting. It's not been great, but it's another wonderful, wonderful sunny day here in the UK. Um, we work with what we've got, don't we? So that's me. I am all, um, oh, thank you. Another lovely comment for the backpack. I am all wrapped up, so I will go and let everybody else um, come along and enjoy their day. So thanks so much for watching and um, see you soon.